What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War Let's Play as Grand Columbia. In this episode, um, we are starting to kick off the beginning of a naval campaign which will uh, hopefully see us become the dominant power in the Mediterranean and then we can start to constrict the Austrian Empire um, from trade uh, on them from their Mediterranean ports. So without further ado, let's destroy this small force that they have generated. They are not able to break out of the Strait of Gibraltar because we have this enormous fleet guarding it. Um, however, I would like to expand that dominance eastward and make sure that we put all of their ports under blockade. So we're going to have to take a blockade south of France plus ports in the Adriatic. Heavy first raids lead the way, of which there are many. Then my firsts, seconds, and then my lone third, Newton. So the enemy will likely I mean if I try sail like this. Yeah, war galleons, fourth and fifth rates. We're gonna do well, this is a gonna be a bit of a death sentence for this fleet. If we capture all of their ships, um, they will all be cashed in for money and scrapped. We do not require all of these fleets. Oka, Pharrell, Inga, Books, Rocken, Titus, Oster, Icebar. Or eyes bar. Either way. So I've gone with quite a defensive um, course to sail because right now they are they are the, they are smaller ships and they're actually going to be a bit faster than ours. So let's get our slow pondering battle line into position and start to start to dismantle this fleet then they'll probably put in for a round for a two no they'll probably go back into gibraltar for repairs they're turning yeah they, they are attempting to try cut us off and they may be they may be successful because they are they are just faster than we are but it will come at great cost. Yeah, let's slam the course directly southwest. Except that we're going to get cut off, but maneuver our ships in a position to uh, cut them off. Does mean we will take some losses, particularly to our heavier capital ships up front. I mean, that one broadside from a heavy first rate took a nice chunk of damage off of a ochre. Put some good shots into Caesar. But this is why you have your heavy first rates up front, they can take a lot of damage. But this is why we want to sail to get in the mix quicker sooner rather than later it behooves us to get in okay once we start getting more into the melee then i'll okay, caesar's getting bombarded caesar's on fire fire will off just for a period and fire it will back on to try and pummel the war galleon's masts then back off again deal with the fire there we go oak is giving way to us now Yeah, 
you can come in if you like. Get rid of this snaking set of shenanigans. Start to knock out some of these masts here. some of these masks just to slow them down by a round shot once they creep out of range. Flying broadside right into Inga. You might reorientate to get fired to the head of that column of ice bar. Morel is snuck between us. That's going to be a bit frustrating, but ultimately we're in a good position. sail ready to try and deal with them. If you want them to slow down the maneuvering, that's what we want. Don't mind them being around here just to, so long as they don't uh, be right. You can s drop anchor. You want to pivot just a little bit. Pharrell with round shot. Outside in. Surrendered, push on to Oka. Nice. Try to get some of our ships around behind their formation. Pumping out shots, chain shot, pull on starboard as fast as you can. Morale is sinking. Is taking a lot of damage up front. The Oka's routing. Ibar 
is, surround, is surrendered or has surrendered. Ice bar. Just get into a good position and keep pummeling and walking. Okay, just keep smashing Ulster with round shot because they've not got much left to withstand us. Got a good broadside into the back of this heavy privateer. down here rapidly some of these ships orders to pursue and destroy get ahead of them with these ships. is just in bad shape. Although, to be fair, starboard battery is not bad. There goes the main of the heavy privateer. Excellent. Pursue the war galleon. Although my third rate is just going to try and get ahead of them. Firing chain all the way. Put a broadside into the war galleon just to try and cut them down to size. Caesar, however, just start firing round shot. First rate, you should deal with her. Excellent. Speedy third rate. Any privateer thinks they're winning. Just this heavy first rate course to engage Fuchs. Poor soul. Get up front, try knock out the last of her sails. Caesar's ready to rock and roll. Let's get Gallagher into position. Olive 
Nefemus. Gallagher's in position. Rolling broadsword. Stir tank, but they, 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 they cope with it. It is on fire and surrendered. Sick breaks lost the mainmast. Routing. And right, we're going to continue. We need to prevent her from leaving. You've not got long left, me old mucker. You may as well give up. Nice, nice, nice. So that fleet was destroyed. It should pay for our own repairs. That's kind of why I'm a bit cavalier on damage. So look, we've taken 10,000 in prize money. Preparados. If I put them in Sandy Bay, it will cost 2,300. So even though we took more damage than we maybe needed to, um, the end result was exactly what we wanted still. So Morocco... Probably going to rebel next turn, so I might actually have to keep you guys nearby. Start recruiting militia out of Algiers. Okay. we got an army to defend Lisbon, should that happen. Okay, let's put Edgar Bull into the Mediterranean to the east. Actually, no, Edgar Bull. Yeah, attack um, Cartagena. No. Can't get Mallorca. What about Marseille? We can get Marseille and Turin. We're not at war with Genoa yet. But let's start to break some of their ports here. We're one turn away from taking Madrid. If we take Madrid, all of Spanish, all of the Spanish uh, territories go away. Good. Militia. Go into Portsmouth. Means the fourth rate. Go join Alfonso de Balboa. Got some of these these light guys and sloops will be useful to garrison these ports quite quickly. Okay. Yeah, the Spanish are still here, but we're replenishing. Although may well if they want to take KN they can. Apart from that, everywhere else looks pretty darn good. Let's. Yeah, your Sweden. I know I can. I should check like that, really. The Ivory Coast. There's a Venetian force. Madagascar. There is another Venetian force. Okay, what I need to do. So your force, your force at full strength. It is not. Well, the Grand Colombian, not the Grand Colombian force. Okay, I need two ships. Let's take two heavy first straits sí, out of here. So if I go over to the Straits of Madagascar and attack this Venice stack, which I will have to fight myself because I don't want to water resolve it because I'll lose a bunch of troops. I suppose I need I need to keep pressing the enemy wherever I find them out on the high seas because Venice, you know, they won't be able to replace this stack on the open sea because I block the Mediterranean. You know, they'll never be able to push out again. More 
trade spots I collect. Do it for the enemy. Especially as I'm probably not going to really want to worry about um, claiming. Well, I don't need to worry about, about um, taking these ships. It's going to be the same again. They're probably going to cut ahead of us. Uh, at least a little bit, unless I do to get rid of the straight line stuff already and just go right. Sail like so. It will cause a bit of a traffic jam because lots of my faster ships will start to bump up against my slower ones. But ultimately, I think I'm going to start. I'm going to start abandoning doing my line ahead formations because as soon as they, we get into the action, that stuff goes away pretty quick. Yeah, so like this first rate's overtaking each other. Just sail at full sail, it's fine. I don't mind if we have a bit of a a bit of a uh, badly organized entry into action. Get into the middle of their, just get into the middle of their formation, start sweeping masts off because that really upsets these smaller ships. Then let's take another batch and go like this, including you. Yep, so as you three at the back. There we go. So that ship is now routing up as a result of the uh, engagement. It's just a round shot with this sort of engagement. Got the last mast away. Routing. Surrendered. Keep sailing around. to sail between these two ships, Pirates of the Caribbean style. Princessa is in position now to engage Abodanza e Richeza. If we can get a good chain shot broadside into this ship, give them a bit of a morale hit. They've lost their main mast. Fire into both. Change course again. Routing. Wavering. Surrendered. Surrendered. Push out from behind these ships. You can sit in the gap and use round shots. Flagships lost their mast, the main mast. Another 
broadside into the mass of this full train. to engage fifth rate. Come on, invincible. There goes your movement, your, your foremast. Surrendered. Guns are ready to try and engage this sixth rate. Board them. Oh. <laughs> nice. So now it's everyone against this poor little brig. Poor little fourth rate ship of the lines. Not doing so great. Go on, Phoenix, pivot. Oh, the brig exploded. Is there around the back of this ship? Apparently they're in quite good spirits, reasonably good spirits. They think they're winning, which is cute. Drop anchor. There we go. A decisive victory. Indeed. Yeah, there we go. It was decisive. Truly decisive. Nice. Okay, so that was pretty good. 8,000 cash. Listos para la acción. En Sit on the trade post. Then we need to dispatch. We don't you, heavy war galleon, get down to where my trade fleets are being built. Let's replace you with a third rate ship of the line. You men get out to the East Africa Trade Theatre. Upgrade a fourth rate to be an admiral. There we go. Except for the sloop. Collect that war galleon. Get out of there as well. I think I might recruit some more. Buccaneers are slightly cheaper. Okay, let's take. Because it looks like we might be in a position to start capturing. Well, starting to defeat more powers at sea. Let's recruit a heavy frigate for you. Let's get Cuddlador to be Admiral. And let's collect some privateers and some Razes. Razes. <laughs> Slowly start to recruit more portraits. Excellent. So they may well attack us. I mean, I might just exempt, exempt you from tax. Deals with that problem. So then you 
can carry on driving east. He's not necessarily worried about taxes from Morocco. We've got plenty of money. So then these sloops. Um, go down to Casablanca, I suppose. Okay, your Sebastian Serrano is stood ready. Yeah, we took Copenhagen last time. That was pretty good. Let's repair the dry dock. I mean, they still don't like us, but we're going to dismantle the university. I mean, I could... No. I was going to say, I could deploy Sebastian, but let's let's stabilise um, Copenhagen a minute. Let's hit and turn. There's a random French, French force in my... Deep in the west up here. How weird. Um, do I want to intercept? No. I don't really care if they garrison the port. That's fine. Do I want to intercept this force? Yes. Gabino Mendez. Come and attack me. Because you've only got horse artillery. You came too close, my friend. In theory, we could leave them alone. Because next turn, if they don't attack us, next turn we'll take Madrid. And they'll be they'll be destroyed anyway. Um, but after a lot of naval battles, I thought a land battle might be a bit of a, a good bit of a palate cleanser for us. My copy is cold. Oh well. Down the hatch. Feel like a bit of a barbarian, but eh, what are you going to do? Better than throwing it away and wasting it. Right. So we're going to set up a really good killing field. They've got good infantry, so they can do some stuff. Um, however, so have we. Especially as I deliberately got rid of my cavalry so I had more infantry to bring to bear. We have a breach, and that's even better. Okay, so let's put some of my infantry over E positions. Sadly, we don't have dates. Okay, so in theory, what you want to do... Deploy your guns like so. Put some marines, or maybe two units of marine. Ah, uh, one unit of marine in the house. Marines in the house. Deploy a good box of infantry around the breach to create a good killing field. We don't mind that they're not optimally laid out. The main thing is it's it's just more volleys going out. How it says deploy here. Guerrillas take this position. Um, infantry. I mean, we still want some infantry to hold the walls because they won't all go for the breach, but a lot of them will. Some infantry reserves. Chief's bodyguard. Chief's bodyguard. General's bodyguard. So my guns, just set them to attack the breach with with canister shot. I don't know what the hell happened here. I'm assuming it was a bit of a freak out. So this may be focus our quick climb energies on things that we think are going to potentially not attack the wall in the way we planned. It looks like they're going they're going to try to destroy this piece of wall which will open up extra entrances. However, in theory, what generally happens is when they attack the wall, or like these marines, they'll put grappling hooks up and then they'll go ah and run through the breach anyway. Doing 
my gorillas up here, keeping the artillery going. Okay, these marines are actually going to climb up the gate. Let's deploy some of my own marines up on the wall as a reserve. We've obliterated the next pack line infantry unit. I think we've also got some good hits on their other flanking forces. Yep, they've both broken off their attack. Okay, they've hurt some of their own guys, apparently. Okay, these guerrillas get over here, abandon that fortification. Here comes the cavalry. Keep hitting the breach with canister shot. Let's maybe bring a line infantry unit to cover the guns. Walloon line infantry. You can you can also quick climb the breach. That's another very good use for it. still holding strong. Quicklime's done a fantastic job on a couple of these infantry units. Okay, let's retarget against a couple of these other units. Expat infantry. They're right down the muzzle of these guns from canister shot. They're getting up on the wall slowly. Actually, they're ripe to be obliterated with quick line. Oh, the, the skirmishes have scaled the walls. That's a bad idea. Skirmishes are very low melee attack and melee defense. They've changed their mind. They're coming off of the wall now. Okay, let's run my infantry over, over the gate. Oh, we got him. Hitting the gorillas. A couple more units going to push him through the breach. Okay, I'll, start. I'll try and knock these guys out with some quick climb as well. There we go. They. Those engineers suddenly worked out that actually this is a really bad idea. The gorillas are still coming. Got some a bit of friendly fire here. Bring you guys up to boost the numbers. Let's switch my howitzers to round shot to attack. Attack the general, I suppose. There we go, they broke. Only broken though, they're not shattered. Excellent, you men. 
get on the walls and begin engaging that unit of militia that's trying to shoot at us. Taking position, make ready and fire. Oh well. Okay, so try quick line the guards, try quick line the militia. Yeah, so they've made their they've made another a breach here. So there's there's a couple more access routes in. It's not a big deal. Foot guards are advancing. There we go. You guys weren't shooting like you should be. They're going to attack. Let's bring a regiment of foot up just to back them up. Okay, let's try and engage the bodyguards because that previously did trigger the uh, their heavy cavalry to come in. slowly advance around to this section of the wall. Those light, those um, guards might actually be able to do the trick. Let's commit another line of unit into the fight. Curious regiment we want to deal with. Are they going to run out of men? Then it's a question of quick climbing these guys till they run away. And then it's up to you guys. What are you going to do? Either way. Down to half strength on the Asturias regiment. Couple of shots in from the marines inside the house. Might get hit by an errant canister ball. The militia are losing. Asturias are below half strength. My marines are making their way around. It's in the 112 take position here. The Light Infantry Guard should be done for. 13 men remaining. Yeah, there we go. Because you can still attack us, in theory. Your Lusitania Regiment of Dragoons, which look brilliant, are still... they're able to attack, but I don't think you're going to. Your artillery doesn't seem to know what they want to do. Cease fire here because I think they might be firing into the back of this combat. Two 
274-ish troops against 150-ish enemy troops. Not bad. Let's get my um, guerrillas up on this section of the wall. Okay, the militia are wavering. Oh, look at this guy. What did I miss, guys? What did I miss? Oh my god. That was 75 and 68. Gorillas to get shot down. No good hits, down to fifty four. Sadly, that's the wrong bit. I will need to go here if that's possible. Fifty-three and sixty-one versus two hundred and ten. So we still have the numbers advantage there. Both the foot guards were shaken for a moment. There we go. A couple of guys where we want them to be. Another ten or so musket shots against the gorillas. Once this guy works out where he wants to get to. Apparently they don't want to shoot at them. There we go, the militia are broken. Now just their foot guards that remain. They're doing an admirable job, but they're not killing enough of us, that's for darn sure. Good, they finally broken. So let's attack the dragoons. might just speed this up now because it's just engaging foot guards and attacking their infantry with the infantry that are sat outside the walls now they're wavering down to 36 men they've done well but it's not enough Now they've broken. Alright, try to see if you can man these guns. Everyone else, try quick line the enemy. So let's see if you guys will man. Once they've got off the walls. See if these guys will man any of the artillery pieces. Fire will off, fire will on. Nope, apparently not. Okay, because this guy this might be a bit boring for you guys. I am gonna end the chop the recording here and bring you guys back when something happens. So see you in a second, everyone. You know, it did not take very long at all for me to get bored with that. So instead, I've taken my defensive, my troops that were deployed inside the wall. We're going to go on the attack. We're going to push them off. So my howitzers switched to round shot. Bombard their artillery. Oh, the enemy cavalry are charging in. Now I'm attacking their artillery. My guerrillas are firing their artillery. Everyone form square. 
sword raised is coming in. Oh, these are fusiliers, so they're probably the best square for them to try charge. Yeah, we've already the square has already been broken. Try and run my fusiliers into another square. Seek the protection of the neighbouring square, fusiliers. Charge the guns. Conquistadors have run out of momentum. They've now hit a, a properly formed square with more competent units in it. Nope. Still trying to bombard something else instead. So we can try bombard the Conquistador. If they're going to stand back and um, shoot at us, then we will match them. See, they're going for my fusiliers, which is the smart thing to do. Okay, right. Howitzers, ceasefire. They've gone in to get the square again. Bodyguards falling fast. Killed their general. Charge. Charge them all. And the Dragoons have come back. We're going to bang and charge the guns. Excellent. Bring my general out. Ceasefire the artillery. And charge the 5th Regiment of Dragoons. They might get a volley off before we hit them, but they're going to be in trouble. enough to stop the tide. Killed the officer. Chasing them away. Nice. Silly, silly Spaniards. But then again, there wasn't much they could do, really. They drifted just too close. Oh, and how cute! You're gonna siege me! You're gonna siege me at Lisbon! Oh, wow! If only I wasn't. Uh, no, Britain, sorry. If only I wasn't one turn away from attacking your capital! Oh, shucks! Well, see? Austria. Never give up! Don't worry, Naples. I think you're going to be ripe for the chopping soon. Yeah, then we've still got the Marath. We've still got plenty to be getting on with. Plains Nations peoples are attacking. Yeah, we've already fought that before. No peace. No peace at all. All your territories will belong to us. Okay. 
Okay, right. 85,000. Okay, all of these are as high as they can get. That's pretty super. Fleet arrives. Yeah, he should. That's a boy. Uh, a lone fourth rate ship of the line. I have sent people to the wrong places. Oh, no, I haven't. City besieged, Lisbon. Yeah, that would be a problem were it not for this. Because if you fight and take Madrid, all this goes away. Algiers is a lot safer than it was before. Although they're still going to have to be garrisoned for a while. Could probably do with getting rid of the Iron Master's works, really. Try build, try get a um, some more religious buildings. We have to spread Catholicism across North Africa. Let's raid Nice again. Rome and Venice. I mean, that's okay. Right. Let's try block off the Adriatic. There we go. In terms of things I definitely want to do. You definitely want to fight here in Madrid. Definitely want to fight the naval engagement. Across the seas. Third rates, you join this force up in, up in um, Portsmouth. You can dispatch some ships to go deal with this fifth rate. We'll cash them in. Actually, I might choose you guys. Workers on strike in Denmark. Workers on strike in England. Let's recruit. So Light Dragoons have the bonus. Garrison policing bonus. There we go. Recruits and Dragoons. So Dublin's on the way to becoming Catholic, but I suppose I need to I need to focus on Edinburgh. I'll focus on Edinburgh and London, really. Although I suppose I can afford to lose one of these towns. Upgrade them to a religious school. And then I can keep a religious school here. Priest, well, start converting the British Isles to Catholicism across the board. Plains nations are destroyed. Destroy the government building. Make sure the army is replenishing. Destroy everything that cannot be upgraded. Get rid of the meeting hall because that will really help in getting the population to simmer down. Okay, let's... Let's get recruiting. Something like that. Here yeah, Black Hills was done. Trade raided. Here yeah, by Edgar Bull. Good. Um, I think the first thing I want to do is to attack Madrid. Because if we do that, lots of things get a lot easier. But looking at the time, it's probably something I'm going to do in the next episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the destruction of the Spanish Empire. And then we will have a a front line with Austria to deal with. But anyway, we'll deal with that later. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. See you next time.